Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicki and today's video is my August update for the Beauty A to Z project. This is a fantastic ladies collab and I will link them down below. So to get started, I'll show you everything that I'm working on in this project. Normally I do just the updates, however I have changed the way I have been recording usage. So originally I was trying to record it according to number of uses and found that that was just not working for me. So I started to track the grams. <laughs> I had to think about that. And um, as far as like lip glosses, just like marking the lines in addition to sh kind of be able to show you a little bit better progress. So with that, let's get started. I have a bunch of products to show you. Um, and a few rollouts, which I'll explain here shortly. So bear with me while I dig through my basket here. So the first item I have for A is the Medusa's Makeup Shadow in the color Eva. It is this beautiful gold shadow. It's just a liquid shadow. It goes all over the lid. Um, I really like it. When I use this, I put, I use actually a very small, um, brush to actually paint it onto the lid versus the applicator. I find with the applicator it just tends to go everywhere and I can't really keep it where I want it to go without the brush. So the next video, the next video, let's try that again. The next item I have for you is for the letter B and that is the Live Glam Birthday Palette. Live Glam Live Glam, not Live Gram. Live Glam is also a subscription service. Um, you get a palette every other month for $20. This was the very first one I got. And this is kind of like a suede material here on the outside. Um, and just to show you, it does remind me of the ColourPop 9 Pan palettes. But this one is a nice neutral palette here. I Most I've used here is the shade called Cheeky. Um, and I really enjoy this palette a lot. So the next item I have is for the letter C. It is the Pacifica Crystal Dust Highlighter. Many of you know, I've referred to this often in videos as the highlight highlighter, excuse me, that will not die last night. Where is it? Where is it? There it is, right there. I hit, I hit pan last night. I almost screamed, like I was so excited. I've been trying to pan this since January, and so I just finally have hit pan. This is actually um, in my shop, my stash, for the next three weeks, so I'm going to continue for the next three weeks to focus on this pink shade, and then I'm going to flip over and start working on the blue shade and try to hit pan. So that was super exciting. And just to give you an idea of weights, because I did not weigh them last time, so we are starting out with weights at this point. So this one is 20 grams. Excuse me, this one is 131 grams, and this one is at 73 grams. So the next item I have is the Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in Dreamcatcher. And you can see, I can't see past my own hand. Um, you can see a little bit of progress I've made there. This is currently weighing in at 22 grams. For the letter E, I have the ColourPop All Things Equinox palette. So it's this pretty kind of purples and taupe, taupey brown colors. Um, and I've used this a couple of times. Mostly I've been focusing on the middle shade called Moonrise. I really just think that's a beautiful purple color. And this is weighing in currently at 97 grams. Next item is for the letter F. It is my Urban Decay Eyeliner in Freak. This is how much I have left. I've been working on this since December of last year. I anticipate that it will probably be done early next year. I don't see myself finishing it this year, but it would be great if I could. The And that weighs in at 9 grams. So the next item I have is the Ulta Highlighter Stick in Gold Dust. 
and this is what it looks like. I've only used it maybe two or three times this year um, since I've been focusing so much on the Pacifica palette. And this one is weighing in at 28 grams. For the letter H, I have the Lime Crime Happy Cherry Lip Gloss. You can see how much progress I've made on that. And this is currently weighing in at 13 grams. And then I have another Pacifica product, and this is the Island Life palette. And I like that there's a lot of shimmers in this particular one, which I do without blinding you. Um, there's some browns, like a nice pink, a gold, kind of a bronzy color here. Um, I've used this probably two or three times, um, and that currently weighs in at 34 grams. And then one of my most beloved palettes, which is my Ciate Jessica Rabbit palette. I've probably used this about a total of six times based on my last notes. And the color that I was focusing on is this color right here. It is in the shade Carrot Cake. And I just think the names in here are so cute. Love Letter, Oh Roger, Sunset Boulevard, I'm Not Bad, Patty Cake. Drawn That Way, Carrot Cake, Toon Kisses, and Honey Bunny. Um, so that is my Jessica Rabbit palette. That This is currently weighing in at 144 grams. For the letter K, I had my Pink Body Spray by Victoria's Secret. I decided to go ahead and roll that out. And um, further on down the alphabet here, there'll be another couple of rollouts. And the reason for that being that I kind of got burned out on the four perfumes I was working on in this project just decided to work on a completely different perfume um, so I just like I said broke that one out all right for the letter L I have this Mana Kadar lip gloss in Lucky I had to think about the name of the color so I've made a little bit of progress on this one, not much. Um, and this one's currently weighing in at 19 grams. And then I have my, my Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. Without blinding you. There we go. Um, and this is what it currently looks like. Right up there. So get to keep the mirror out of there. Um, I'm finally starting to see some progress on this particular one, especially in this color here, which is Galaxy, and this one here, which is Element. I'm starting to see a slight dip in this. I've been working on this on and off. I worked on this on and off last year, brought it in again this year. Um, I really like the colors on this. I love just the glittery shimmers. Um, so this one is currently weighing in at 167 grams. My other, excuse me, my other palette by Urban Decay is the Naked Cherry palette. And I've only used this one a couple of times. Um, I remember when I first got it, I was using it very sparingly. And, uh, because I didn't want to you know, afraid to use it up. And now I'm just like, well, I'm ready to use it up. So beautiful kind of pinks, um, some gold shimmer, brown. I really enjoy this one. It's so pretty. I love it. So this one's in, weighs in at 229 grams. And that was for the letter N. For the letter O, I have the KBD Lipstick in Outlaw. I could not get a weight on this um, because it's so tiny. It's literally just a sample, but it's a beautiful red shade. Next, for the letter P, I have the Urban Decay Mascara in Perversion. It's just a mini that I started working on about a month or so ago, two months ago now. Um, so this currently weighs in at 9 grams. For the letter Q, I had the Aqua Scum Lotion. I went ahead and rolled that out. Again, going back to the fact that I'm really hyper-focused on a perfume that I'm currently using. And I have another lotion that I really want to focus on in another project. 
um, that you're going to see a video for this week as well. So next item is going to be my Medusa shadow in a wrap setting. And it's just a single shadow. Mm. And it's kind of like a raspberry shimmer. I don't know if you can really tell that. but um, And again, this is one I probably only used a couple of times. I don't know what I was thinking when I decided to bring in like a ton of shadow eyeshadows into this project. But what the heck, why not, right? Next item, and that one, I'm sorry, this one is 20, 21 grams, just to let you know. Next item is the Bare Minerals Style Makers Palette. I've had this for several years now. It's just kind of getting up there. Um, so this is kind of an odd mix of colors. So you've got just like the lid, you know, the all over lid shade. You've got a bronze, you've got a gold, and then you've got this crazy blue out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> I usually use the blue as an eyeliner. Um, blue eyeshadows and I do not seem to get along for whatever reason. So this particular palette weighs in at 60 grams. For the letter T, I had um, Bath and Body Works A Thousand Wishes Body Spray. Um, my plan for that was that I had I had five bottles of the spray and one tube of lotion. I was getting a little burned out on the smell, so again, rolled in, or not rolled in, but just decided to use a different perfume. For the letter U, I have this Ulta eyeshadow quad, just this little tiny quad here. Um, I'll take this plastic off so you can see a little bit better without the glare. These are just like little domed eyeshadows, but like this one right here is starting to get flat, um, which is actually I'm really excited to hit pan in this little tiny thing at some point and get that out of my collection. I feel like I can do that fairly quickly, um, especially since I'm sure the pans are super shallow on that. So that one weighs in at 12 grams. For the letter V, I had my Vaseline Spray Moisturizer, again rolled that out. For the letter W, I have my Live Glam Whimsical Garden Palette, which is this palette here. I love all these butterflies in the back of that. And so, I've not really used this one a lot. I feel like now that we're going to be getting into the fall season, I'll be using this quite a bit more um, since they are more kind of orangey type fall colors. So um, definitely we'll get more use out of that as we roll into the fall season, whatever that happens in Florida, by the way. Let me just add to that that we don't really feel fall until December or January. <laughs> But um, rumor has it I'll be going back to work in the office actually in December, December, late November, early December. So I'm trying to use a lot of the fun colors that I wouldn't really wear into the office now, like this hot pink lipstick. Um, although I might get brave enough and wear it, what the heck, right? Um, especially if I don't have to wear a mask, I'm going to probably want to wear my fun colors. So my next item, oh, is this beast over here. Oh, oh. This is my Morphe 35X palette. Oh, good, this doesn't have a mirror in it. Um, I don't even think, I have not even used this this year. Isn't this pretty? I, I just fell in love with all the colors, and I usually never buy palettes this big. Like, I never buy palettes more that have more than, like, 12 pans. I always try to stick with the smaller one, excuse me, the smaller ones, and I just end up falling in love with all the colors in here. So at some point I will get get into and get some usage out of this, and let me crack this back open because I close it correctly. So this whole thing right here, make sure I don't shut my hair in there. Um, so this whole thing weighs in at 354 grams. This is this is going to be a beast to pan, but I'm 
looking forward to the challenge on that particular one. So the next item I have for the letter Y, and that was for the letter X. So this is the letter Y. This is Medusa's lipstick in YOLO. It's what I have on today, along with the Lime Crime Happy Cherry. I managed to break this already. Um, I only just started using it yesterday. When I was putting it on today, it broke right at the base. Ta -ta. I mean, it was a nice clean break. So, but I'm still going to use it until I just can't really get it to work the way I need it to anymore. But I, I do like the color. I'm very much, I'm a pink girl. I love pink. So, um, it's just kind of trying to get adjusted to the fact of, use, of wearing a brighter lip. I wear more toned down lip colors. So this one has been a bit of um, pushing me out of my comfort zone for this particular color. But I do like it and I like the formula. It is actually a very creamy lipstick. That is half the battle with me and lipsticks is they are usually not creamy enough. They're usually kind of drying. But this one feels really comfortable on the lip. I wore it last night for a game night via Zoom with friends, and I had it on for the full three hours. Super comfortable on the lips, so um, if you've not ever checked out Medusa's makeup, definitely look into them. Um, I think I did mention at the beginning of this video they are vegan and cruelty free. So that lipstick weighs in at 22 grams. And then for the letter Z, I had my Amazing Grace. I had three perfumes, two lotions, and a sample. Again, rolled that out because I did want it focus um, on a different perfume and that perfume that I'm actually focusing on right now I think is the Amazing Grace Summer. Um, I don't have it in any particular project but it's a huge four ounce bottle. Like the bottle is just ridiculous. Um, so I wanted to get some use out of that while well, it's still summer and I could enjoy it. I feel like Amazing Grace is a nice spring scent. It's very soft floral. Um, and I kind of wanted to get some usage out of a summer scent before the season rolls out. So that is going to be it for my Beauty A to Z project pan. I had to think about that for a second. Um, so anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. Leave me a comment below if you're working on this project. I would love to follow you or if you're doing any kind of panning at all. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.